This is my new kitchen and I'm so excited about it because as you can see, we have natural lighting here and look at the size of this comparing with the previous one. It's definitely nothing luxury about it, but it's two or three times bigger, which always helps. I'm so excited that we move into this new place. It looks better, it's bigger. I absolutely love it. I like that we have natural light. That's always a bonus and it puts me in a good mood. But the reason issue that I've been intending to change for a long time and now is the time to do so, which is that table right there. I've been using this table for most of my videos. It's been great so far, but we need to move on because it's killing my back every time I'm doing any cooking on it. Because it's too short, as you can see, this is a dining table. It was never intended for cooking. So we kind of improvised, especially being in the previous location with a tiny space. And plus, I didn't really want to make any investment. But now, since we moved to a new place, we need to get rid of it and find something better. The ideal height of the table depends a lot on how short or how tall you are. This tabletop right here will be probably ideal. For my size, I would say that I need from 90 to 100 centimeters. That would be probably great and in day-to-day -day cooking I'll be definitely using this. If I do day-to-day -day cooking it's fine, I can do it here with no problems. But if I need to do videos when I have a lot of cables around the table and I have cameras, I have lights, I need to figure out something a lot better than this. So I need to have a table that I can move around it, I can move the table if I need to. So it's got to be something made from scratch or we might buy it. And like any human being from this era, we're gonna start on Amazon. We'll see what we find there. And after that, we move on to the rest of the ingredients. Let's just do it. First on Amazon, I try all the words that could possibly give me a table that's at least 90 centimeters in height and probably no more than 100. Don't get me wrong, I found a few, some of them at reasonable price. Some that bring memories from when I used to work in a professional kitchen, but it's definitely not something that I want now some nice ones but a lower height and obviously the ones that were not for my pocket. So DIY will be, let's hope that we end up with a nice table. And I'm checking the local DIY store to see if I find any of the components. After looking a bit for a worktop I finally found it, a lot bigger than the size I need but they should be able to cut it for me. I try finding the table legs as well but they don't seem to have the right size. So I checked out the war top, which it should be delivered in about 2 weeks, and I'm back on Amazon. A lot of regular size table legs, but when it comes from 90 to 100 cm is a bit of a struggle. And finally found them. There are not many options, so we're just gonna go with these, if they're not okay, we're just gonna send them back, that's the luxury of Amazon. In the basket they go, and now we're just waiting. 3 or 4 days later, here they are. The table legs have arrived, 90 centimeters in height, plus you can adjust them with another two or three if you need them. That's a great thing to have. We might not need it, but it's here. Sturdy, perfect for our needs. We're still waiting on the tabletop. What can you do when Amazon can deliver something faster from the UK? Comparing with the local store, which is literally here, nothing you can do, just waiting on it. And when it comes, we'll do it. Now guess what, instead of a 10 to 14 days delivery, it took about 3 weeks. That's fine, what can you do when you cannot drive, you need to wait on the others. But it's finally here, this is the tabletop I was talking about, it's the perfect size, it's just what we need. Now I'm going to get changed and let's do some DIY. Let's remove the cover so we see what we've got. And it looks like they listen to me, they cut it into my preferred size, otherwise I would have been ready for it. The worktop looks pretty even, so nothing to worry from this point of view. But I still want to remove a very thin layer of it, so when I'm adding the oil, in order to protect it, it's gonna absorb better into the wood. After doing a bit of research, I found out that P120 is a medium grey sandpaper, and I figured out that that's probably what I need to go for. But I'm not entirely sure whether I should go higher or lower, cause I'm not a professional, but that's what I got and I'm just gonna go for it. Oh well, this is one of my kitchen cloths. Half is gonna go for wiping and the other half for when I'm gonna be adding the oil. I'm pretty sure there are better alternatives that you can buy, especially when you're applying the oil, but that's what I've got, that's what I use. To round up slightly the sharp edges of the wall top, I'm using a P60 sandpaper. As you can imagine, this is a lot coarser than the previous one and it will help me getting to the end results faster.
To smoothen the surface, I get back to the 120 and follow the same process. Before I'm planning on applying the oil, I'm making sure that this surface is properly clean. So I'm using this cloth to get rid of any impurities or any dust that might be left after the sanding. To protect the surface of the wood from stains and from any other things that might happen during the cooking, I'm using Danish oil. And I know there are quite a few options out there on how to treat the wood properly. All sorts of chemicals, liquids and so on. But considering that I'm using this table for cooking and even dining, I'm trying to use something as natural as possible. And Danish oil appears to be just that. I'm trying to wipe longwise following the structure of the wood. This way I can eliminate any streaks that might appear. This oil is quite thick, but the wood being dry the way it is, is absorbing it like a sponge. And it starts looking amazing already, and this is just the first layer. After I coated the wall top on both sides, I'm gonna give you about 12 hours, so every single drop of that oil will be absorbed into the wood. The following day I can see that the wood absorbed that oil pretty well and is hungry for more. But before we applying any other coatings of oil, we are gonna take care of assembling the table legs. Luckily I have all the basic equipment that I need for this job. Not that I use it too often, but you never know when you need it. It's time to get my drill driver and the drill bits in action to finally make it a good investment. There is an old saying in Romania, measure twice before you cut it. Not that we're cutting anything in this situation, but we're definitely gonna drill some holes. And where it gets a bit complicated is that this table needs to be multifunctional. So it's gonna be used for cooking when I do the videos for you guys, and it's gonna be used for dining, because I can't afford to have two tables in the same kitchen, otherwise my wife will simply kill me if I do that. Although this is wood, it's made from solid oak, so pretty damn resistant. Because if it was pine wood, I could probably go straight in with the screws, but no chance in this situation. But obviously, I'm using a drill bit slightly thinner than the screws I'm gonna be adding. Replacing the drill bit with the screwdriver, and this is the part that I love the most, bringing everything together. It's really satisfying for some reason, I should probably do this more often. So if you need a table, you might wanna leave a message in the comments down below. Just joking, I couldn't do this for anybody else, I'm not a professional. I'm attaching the table legs back to the plates. And this made my life so much easier because I could remove them when I added the screws. And once a day for the next couple of days, I'm gonna be adding another layer of Danish oil. This will ensure that the wood gets properly protected. This was my little project and this is the table I'm gonna be using from now on for all my cooking. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see some actual recipes check these two that are on the screen right now.